Sweet J Sweet Z wants to know, how's Jerry Lawler doing nowadays? I ask because I'm a huge fan of you and the King as commentators. We're glad you're feeling better. Have you heard from your old pal, Jerry Lawler lately? What's he up to Jim? Well, he's staying booked, you know, uh, uh, that's, his, his theory is always, how long are you going to do this, Jerry, until they stop booking me is his answer every time. Uh, but you know, he's, I think he's feeling better. He seems to be feeling better. And he's like all of us old guys, you know, we just got to pace ourselves and be smart. Uh, but, uh, you know, we we're talking about doing some appearances together, which I'm looking forward to if that, if it materializes. So if you're a promoter out there and you're thinking about, uh, making a, yourself some cash, uh, JR and the King are available. So, uh, that should be fun. I like, I like doing those. I like doing them with him because he's just his commentary, his running commentary about people coming up to the table, et cetera, et cetera, is classic and timeless. So, uh, but he's fun. He hadn't changed. He's still horny old Jerry. I love you for that. Uh, I F a Y I I I wants to know what was your experience working with bruiser Brody? He's one of those, uh, folks who left us way too soon. And yeah. there's always been a lot of talk about what if, you know, what he could have done if he was with Jim Crockett promotions or an opponent for Hogan at WrestleMania. What was your experience working with Bruce? My, my experience, excuse me, Conrad was very positive with Frank. Uh, when I was going to major league umpire school in 76, uh, he was working the Florida territory. And, uh, so we'd get together once a week and, uh, and my buddies uh, in the umpire school were, uh, awfully, uh, they were marked, they marked out cause they'd see him on TV and he had a great reputation and a great legacy. Uh, so, uh, but I never had a bad word with him, but of course I didn't book him. I didn't have to work out finishes with him and, and things of that nature. Uh, but if I had, if I had to do that, I feel confident that, uh, we were, he and I will be able to communicate. That was the thing about, uh, when you hear about talents that are problematic, allegedly, uh, it's because they're not, they don't, people don't communicate with them well, very well. So, uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm a big bruiser Brody guy. I, I, I love Frank. He was, we rarely talked about wrestling. Uh, cause it just, there's nothing there to talk about. Uh, you know, he, he was just, uh, but we talk about everything else, but wrestling and primarily sports cause he was very knowledgeable, uh, and as far as sports were concerned and, uh, if former, he was a former sports writer, former college athlete. We had a lot in common in that respect of, of, of similar likes. So, uh, I didn't have the negative experience that a lot of people had with him because I felt like I had the ability to communicate and being able to communicate with Frank was, uh, was, imp was imperative. It was important. And I'm not sure the other bookers, I think they came into a relationship with him as a top guy, always leery that he was not going to, you know, walk out the door or what have you. So I, I enjoyed working with him a lot and broke my heart when he got killed. That whole thing is still a mystery to me. Why it's what was never really addressed as it seriously as it should have been. Uh, but he was just a, he was a swell guy, man. I, I enjoyed being around him and talking to him and, you know, we went to the same place. I can't remember the name of it there in, in Tampa, but, uh, you know, my buddies and I would go to, would have dinner with Frank and it was all good. It was all, one of his nights off. He had nothing else to do, and he was interested in, in shooting the breeze with a bunch of sports guys. And everybody there was in umpire school. We were all there on the same pretense. So and he was always curious about that. And uh, we had 120 students in a class. And uh, so he had a lot of stories that he could be share and, and tell. So I, I enjoyed uh, working with him, Conrad. He was just a, you know, I, I don't have anything bad to say. He just was a. And he was an amazingly talented guy with great charisma and had, had outstanding ring psychology, even though some of the old bookers that worked that he worked for might disagree with that. Uh, but he, he knew what he wanted and he knew what worked and what didn't work for his persona. 
And that's really, really important. That's, it reminds you a little bit of Austin in the standpoint that Austin knew the guys that he could work with and get the best results out of and those that he couldn't. And he didn't mind it in the, as the time went on uh, speaking up. And I think that's what talents today need to do. It's a matter of how you speak up. You know, I used to tell people this about working with Vince. You know, you, you can either confront him or you can converse with him. And it's obviously better when you converse as opposed to confronting. Confronting the alpha male and the decision maker sometimes just doesn't pay dividends. Hey guys, Eric Bischoff here. Now, if you need cash without the controversy, the team at SaveWithConrad.com can help. But don't take my word for it. Hi, my name is Richard Smith. I'm from Moss Point, Mississippi. One of my friends at work said I just been refinancing and my interest rate was 9% and he said he got his for 2.3. So I said, well, maybe I should try. Got a hold of Diane. She kept in touch the whole entire time. We owned two houses and we rented one out and my renter quit paying so we gave it back to the mortgage company. And because we did that, we had to wait three years for an FHA loan to go back through. The one is thing that, that Conrad said on his podcast was we'll never tell you no we might say not now this is what we need to do and we'll make sure we get it done well prime example three years and when they say no money out of pocket they there's no money out of pocket they figure it out but like she was so quick that don't worry about this i got this person that's what impressed me the most my name is richard smith and i saved seven hundred dollars a month to save finalrad.com and unlike the dirt sheets these reviews don't lie with over 1,000 five-star reviews, find out for yourself how much Conrad and his team can save you by checking out SaveWithConrad.com and do it today. NMLS number 32416, Equal Housing Lender, SaveWithConrad.com. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson here to tell you a little more about what AdFreeShows.com is all about. Get early ad-free access to more than a dozen of your favorite wrestling podcasts every single week, starting at just nine bucks. That's less than 20 cents an episode each month. And yes, you can listen to them all directly through Apple Podcasts or your regular podcast apps. How easy is that? Ad-Free Shows also has thousands of hours worth of bonus content and docu-series like Title Chase, Eric Fires Back, Conversations with Conrad, and The Insiders. Plus new series like The Book with David Crockett, Monday Mailbags with Mike Kyoto and Nick Patrick, and a whole lot more. And you want to talk about early, you can't get any earlier than listening to the shows live. You can be a part of the live studio audience as we record the podcast. Plus ride shotgun alongside your favorite childhood heroes for live watch alongs, Q and A's and other interactive experiences every single month. Come on now, see for yourself what thousands of other wrestling fans from around the world have discovered that adfreeshows.com is the best value in wrestling. Check it out today. And hey, when you do, the first week is completely free at freeshows.com.